How many people in here are gearheads? Like performance? Okay, well we used to love two strokes for the fact how fun it is to make power on them. The guy that taught me how to port and polish and match, it's a thing called matching cases on a two stroke, was Dirk when I worked for him 20 years ago. Him and I were building a, a lot of dirt bike engines for some local racers that were doing pretty good. Matter of fact, his dad's business was actually giving people the motorcycles to ride. They were, they were that good. And at the end of the year, they'd turn them back in, we'd make them like new and then sell them. So 23 years old or whatever it was, I started to work for him and, and showed an interest in this. And Dirk is one that taught me how to, to match cases. So on a bike, uh, on a bike like this, when you buy gaskets, would you agree that they probably just, they make a million of these gaskets? I'm using the wrong one, but it'll, it'll serve my purpose here. Would you agree they just punch out a whole bunch of gaskets? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of times what happens is the gaskets of all their variances will hang over into the crankcase. So I want you to think about that. That air fuel charge that needs to move up here, when it hits that gasket that's hanging over, what's it do? It's turbulent. It's turbulent. It stops. It has to roll around it before it can get up. So there's a thing we do where we uh, not only make sure that the, all the mating surfaces match each other, we also make sure that we, the gaskets match. And it, you, you go to build a top end and you put a, just a raw gasket in there, you completely ruin the point of the, what they call case matching. Anybody ever heard of this before? Okay, so check this out. What I would do is I'd take my transmission out, I would take my crankshaft out, and if this requires a middle gasket or silicone, I would bolt and <laughs> torque it together, and then I would make sure and grind all the aluminum so that it has a smooth transition from one case to the other. Imagine here in the intake, when I have these two halves together with the guts out, I could come in here with a grinder and make sure there's no overhang or no restrictions. Make sense? Mm -hmm. The gasket, I do the same thing, and what you do on that is you just take your hammer, you put your gasket in place, and you take your hammer and you tap it on that razor sharp edge, and it'll peel it right off and take the excess off. Okay. The other thing that we do is we take our cylinder without a piston in it, and do you see how this has dowel pins? Yep. Okay, this is the easy one to do because it already has dowel pins from, hot, uh, from the manufacturer. So then I would take and torque this with gaskets, and I would basically now, do you see that rough edge? Mm -hmm. See how my pin can't get across there? Yep. And then you put a gasket in there, extremely turbulent, right? So what I do is I come in here with my porting tool and I grind that and I smooth that transition so that that air fuel charge can just go from one area right on up to the next. This is called case matching. So it matches the case to the cylinder. A lot of work? Yeah. Our 125 motors were getting accused of being having 250 kits in them. Stock crank, stock piston. Guys were getting teched and being accused of having cheater stroker kits in them or anything else. It makes that big a difference. It's just making an engine better. It's, it's perfecting it because when they make a thousand of these and a thousand of these and a thousand of that, you know, you're just making everything match. So I said the dial pin one was pretty easy to do, right? Mm -hmm. So any ideas of how we do the other half, the one with no dial pins? This one has to be marked before you ever disassemble it. So with the whole engine torqued, with gaskets in, on this side here, when it's assembled, and there's, because this, this has the dowel pins and that aligns this case, right? Mm -hmm. What you do with this fully assembled and torque is you take and you would make chisel marks in four places on here, basically scribe lines. And then what that allows you to do is when I go to torque this in place, I line up my scribe lines, torque the two nuts down, then I can go in and do that same case matching. Pretty cool? Yeah, yeah I love doing two strokes for this. They're pretty fun to really get some big performance gains.